Three Inglewood police officers are hurt after being hit and dragged behind a car. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benham. An officer shot and killed the man they say had stolen that vehicle. This happened at an apartment complex on East Girard Place, that location west of University and just north of Hampton Avenue. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has been gathering info all day. Jacqueline, what a scary situation for residents. Investigators still piecing together what happened. Especially when you could see the cars here earlier. Now, what's left behind? We can see the damage alongside this wall here. The force actually uh, pushing some part of this wall onto the other side here, and also glass down here. And we should also note that the damaged cars included a police patrol car. Now, of course, a lot of people astonished by what happened here, what led to a person, one person's death, and three police officers injured. Trabajando. I was working on the trees, and there was this car here. Then I saw five police cars come up. Antonio Adame didn't hear sirens, but he saw the commotion. I don't know what was said, but he ran over the policeman, and the policeman fired five bullets. Noise of gunshots also startled Catherine Armstrong, who was working from home. So run outside, I see an officer on the ground and a woman screaming. This happened just before 10.30 this Tuesday morning. Englewood police received a call of a suspicious vehicle. They came to the Kimberly Woods apartments and saw this burgundy Kia. They ran the plates and it turned out to be stolen. Englewood PD tells us uniformed police officers tried to make contact with a 22-year-old man driving the Kia. Shortly after, he hit and dragged three officers. That's when police opened fire. The driver was taken to the hospital but has died. I'm, I'm a little jarred, of course, but I was really impressed about how the first responders came and this was done. They, they really did take care of everyone. Those three officers were also transported to the hospital with injuries while another passenger, a woman, was taken into custody. Now, of the three officers taken to the hospital, two have been released. One is still there in fair condition. And also, because of what happened here, as per protocol, the 18th Judicial Critical Incident Response Team has been called in to conduct an independent investigation. In Inglewood, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.